solutions to weekly contest 312. The first problem that I have chosen is sort the people. It's a simple question based on the concept of designing. So let's try and quickly understand the question first and then we will move on to the algorithm. It is not algorithm extensive, but it is design expensive. It could act as a initial filter to weed out uh, the candidates uh, who are not well prepared. And it gives the interviewer a sense that this person knows little bit of designing. The question says you are given two arrays, names and heights. What do you need to do? You need to sort the, these people out in the decreasing order or the descending order of their heights. So this is a very important point that you have to sort people on the basis of descending order of their heights and you need to return the names of those people up. So you are given two arrays, names and heights. What I'm going to do? The first and the foremost thing that I'm going to do in this question is to create the people class. The people class will have two attributes in it, name and heights and I have created a constructor over here. And once I have created this people class, what I'm going to do? I'll create a new array named folks and I'll utilize these two arrays given to me in distinct array form names and heights and I'll club them in the form of people. Once I have done this, what I'm going to do? I'll, I'll sort them up on the basis of heights. I have used a lambda expression over here to do that. And the question said I have to do it in the form of decreasing height. Therefore, I have written B minus A, B height minus A height. So this is equally important how well you are abreast with lambda expressions if you are coding in Java. Once I sorted this array, what I'm going to do next, I'll extract uh, the, uh, height, the names of those people who are there in the descending order of their heights and I simply cast it in the answer format and I'll return it up. So the problem lies in writing this code without any hiccups. If you are able to do that, then your work is done. It's very important to write clean and readable code if such a question is asked in interviews because if you are not able to write it in clean format, then your points are gone. Let's try and submit this up now and accept it. The time complexity of this approach would be order of n log n where n signifies the number of people that we have. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it up and stay tuned for more updates on Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.